Rice cake. Oh my god, it tastes so cute. Yeah, the street's pretty cool. It's just like a pedestrian street. There's nothing really else to it. You can kind of see behind me. There's no cars. Um, it's just like malls and stuff like that. So. All right, good morning. It is 6.30 in the morning for us right now. Um, and we have to get up this early because we're going on an adventure. We're gonna have to take the train again. We are going to Bunsi because they have caves, okay? Yes, let me tell you, it's gonna be quite the adventure to get there. We're gonna spend the day in some caves. So exciting. Okay, let's go. So I haven't filmed for a while because, you know, we've been a little bit flustered. Let me tell you why. Because we were supposed to be on a train at 7.55. However, it turns out we actually went to the wrong station because there's actually three stations here. Um, the north, the regular, and the south. So we originally went to the north, but actually our train is for like the regular. So it's an hour and 20 minutes later, but you know what? That's just the way life is. We made it to Bunsi and now the next step is to take a taxi to the bus stop where we will then take the bus to the caves. So, okay. Okay. Okay, huh? Okay, so we got pulled into taking a taxi there. Uh, it's gonna. Um, we were originally going to take a bus to get to another station to take another bus. Um, but these guys started talking to us and they said, "Yo, um, where are you guys going?" And we told them, and they gave us a cheaper price than it would have been for each of us to go there. So we'll see this direct transportation. Um, hopefully, it goes well and we don't get scammed. taken to a restaurant and um, we're gonna be eating here. We don't really know where we are, but the taxi driver took us here, but we're eating with new friends, so this is very exciting and new. So like smaller things maybe? Yeah. We can get like, yeah. Okay. Okay, we're understanding things a little bit more now. We're just gonna sit here and eat. Um, the place isn't like a rip off. We're still paying cheaper to tax driver. He's just been driving us from place to place, waiting for us. It's very exciting and very interesting. So I just can't wait to eat and try like this new food. Apparently it's supposed to be like super good, like super traditional. <laughs> Turns out we ordered um, a soup full of, of lamb organs, so this is going to be very interesting. <laughs> We've got some intestine. No flavor, but weird texture. I don't know what this is. This is very strange. 
Shenyang, uh, and it is so hot that I literally feel like I'm melting. What is it, 35 degrees? 34 degrees. So our plan currently is just to go and find a bubble tea shop where we can chill out because we still have three hours until our next train, which takes us back to Harbin. We don't really feel up to like exploring a lot more because a lot of the things are always outside and it is literally so hot right now. It's not like hot from sun. It's like the air is just literally hot right now and it's like heavy to breathe. Okay, we're gonna go find the bubble tea now because that's literally all I can think about. My brain hurts, my head hurts, everything's hot. It's all... Oh, thank you. Thank you. Wow. Oh, how cute. This is so cute. How <laughs> <laughs> hilarious, he just walked into the video. <laughs> so of course, not only do we get bubble tea, but we also treat ourselves to Holly Land, which has all those pastries and everything. We literally had this yesterday, but does that really matter? No. I can't get over how polite everybody is that we've encountered because now they just took our little pastries and desserts and offered to cut them up for us and gave us little gloves so that we don't have to get our hands all dirty and have to clean that up. Alright guys, I made it back to Harbin. Thank you so much for watching the video and coming along with me on my adventures. It really makes me so happy to see that you guys watch the videos and that you are engaged with them and that you guys kind of get to experience China from what I'm doing. Um, so that's just really cool. Uh, if you guys did like the video, just make sure to pop a like down there. And if you do like these kind of adventures, make sure to subscribe to my channel as well. And wherever you are, I just hope you are smiling and you're happy because that is the most important thing. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. See ya!